good day. My name is Cadet Rigel Evan Balbastro of BSMT Senior 4 Hotel. And in this video, we are going to talk about the history of the MB Exxon Valdez. The Exxon Valdez oil spill occurred in Prince William Sound, Alaska on March 24, 1989. When Exxon Valdez, an oil tanker owned by Exxon Shipping Company that was bound for Long Beach, California, struck Prince William Sound's Blight Reef, 1.5 miles or 2.4 kilometers west of Tatlek, Alaska, at 12.04 a.m. and spilled 10.8 million U.S. gallons or 37,000 tons of crude oil over the next few days. This is a picture of the Exxon Valdez three days after it ran aground. This picture shows the exact location where the incident occurred. It is considered as the worst spill worldwide in terms of damage to the environment. The Exxon Valdez spill is the second largest in U.S. waters after the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill. In terms of volume of oil released, Prince William Sound's remote location, accessible only by helicopter, plane, or boat, made government and industry response efforts difficult and made existing response plans especially hard to implement. The region is a habitat for salmon, sea otters, seals, and other seabirds. The oil originally extracted at the Prudho Bay oil field eventually affected 1,300 miles or 2,100 kilometers of coastline of which 200 miles were heavily or moderately oil. The ship was carrying 53.1 million gallons of oil of which approximately 10.8 US gallons were spilled into the Prince William Sound. Multiple factors have been identified as contributing to the incident. Exxon Shipping Company failed to supervise the masters and provide a rested and sufficient crew for Exxon Valdez. The NTSB found this practice was widespread throughout the industry, prompting a safety recommendation to Exxon and to the industry. The third mate failed to properly maneuver the vessel, possibly due to fatigue or excessive working. Exxon Shipping Company failed to properly maintain the Raytheon Collision Avoidance System radar, which, if functional, would have indicated that the third mate an impending collision with the Blight Reef. By detecting the radar reflector placed on the next rock inland from Blight Reef, for the purpose of keeping ships on course. This cause was brought forward by Greg Palace and is not present in the official accident report. This is the picture of during the first few days of the spill, heavy sheens of oil covered large areas of the surface of Prince William Sound. The beginning three days after the vessel grounded, a storm pushed large quantities of fresh oil onto the rocky shores of many of the beaches in the Night Island chain. In this photograph, pooled black oil is shown stranded in rocks. Captain Joseph Hazelwood, who was widely reported to have been drinking heavily that night, was not at the controls when the ship struck the reef. Exxon blamed Captain Hazelwood for the grounding of the tanker, but Hazelwood accused the corporation of making him a scapegoat. As the senior officer in command of the ship, he was accused of being intoxicated and thereby contributing to the disaster. But he was cleared of this charge at his 1990 trial after witnesses testified that he was sober around the time of the accident. Journalist Greg Palace stated in 2018, Forget the drunken skipper fable. As to Captain Joe Hazelwood, he was below deck sleeping off his bender. At the helm, the third mate may never have collided with Bly Reef had he looked at his Rekas radar. But the radar was not turned on. 
In fact, the tanker's radar was left broken and disabled for more than a year before the disaster, and Exxon management knew it. It was just too expensive to fix and operate. In 2019, Exxon Valdez Captain Joseph Hazelwood offered a heartfelt apology to the people of Alaska, suggesting that he had been wrongly blamed for the disaster. The true story is out there for anybody who wants to look at the facts. But that's not the sexy story that, and that's not the easy story, he said. Hazelwood said he felt Alaskans away gave him a fair chance. On the 24th of March, 1989, one of the world's largest supertankers ran aground on Bly Reef in Alaska's Prince William Sound. The tanker, Exxon Valdez, was carrying 50 million gallons of crude oil. After a fully laden supertanker hit a reef, southern Alaska is facing the worst oil pollution disaster in American history.